Hey folks, welcome back to Pokemon XD. Here in Agate Village. And, uh, I want to give a quick demonstration on how to work the Purify Chamber. Pretty simple once you get it down, but I didn't really understand it before. Anyway, this is a decent setup for a Purify Chamber. You look, you have a Shadow Pokemon in the middle, and then four, up to four, Purified Pokemon all around. And what you want is the uh, moves to be super effective going clockwise. So here you have Dark, which is super effective against Psychic. Psychic, super effective against Poison. Poison, not super effective against Bug, but Bug, super effective against Dark. Um, you can have non-super effectives, it just won't work as well, so you pur you'll purify slower. Now, a perfect loop is where everything works out, and even if the overall net super effectiveness would be neutral, as long as you have one type super effective against the next, uh, it'll work. And that's why you can totally cheese the hell out of it by uh, catching 36 Hopip and just completely decimating it by having flying super, eff super effective against grass all the way around. Anyway, uh, Michael seems to have some sort of walking issue. There we go. Anyway, we are off to Pyrite Town. Finally, recycling even more locations. More yet to come. Hey, that's new. That's very new. Not much else has changed, though. We got... Yeah, yeah, pretty much everything's the same. All the way down to the asshole at the throat. Oh, and I guess that's, that's kind of new. Gee, I wonder if they'll be important. Actually, I have no idea. Anyway, here's Kale. He doesn't have a Shadow Pokemon, but uh, I want to fight him anyway, because he's cool. So yeah, Kale has gotten weaker since Coliseum. Like everybody, it's kind of weird. But he's still neat. He has a Routes and a Snubble. Uh, Snubble will probably be a jerk. Um, I don't know, it's Trace, so... No, I was gonna use Bite anyway, so... Um, Snubble I was afraid it would have Intimidate or something. Apparently not. We get to go there. Honestly, you won't have too much trouble actually beating him, but he's a cool guy. And he's a decent source of experience. Yeah, I should have used Aurora Beam on there. Actually, now that I think about it, Aurora Beam will always be superior unless water is super effective and ice is not. Hopefully I'll get a better water move soon. Won't be Surf, but, uh... There'll be some. Water Pulse, maybe. Ah, so close. That goes down, and... Yeah, he only has four Pokémon, but... It's alright. I, I do wish that they have had evolved some of these Pokemon, and he has had two already Shadow Pokemon, maybe three, I forget if there was a Shadow Rouse before. No, I haven't snagged it. Though I think there is one, though, later. So, kind of weird. But they, 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 they could have evolved the C-Dot. Just, you know, nitpicking here. But it's not going to be hard either way, and a Nuzleaf will give more experience. close to a level up, but apparently not to be. See, so he takes his loss well. I think he's matured since Calcium. Anyway, there's a... Oh, those two. Those two walking in unison. 
Every once in a while, I like it, and I'll do that just for the hell of it. Nobody notices. You know, I would love it if they were actually telling the truth, but I know that they're not. It would be a wacky and hilarious plot thread to have them just consistently being arrested for stuff they didn't do or something, I don't know. Anyway, here's a vending machine. We can abuse it, but uh, I already have like 20 super potions, so I'm going to hold off for now. And here's the station. ONBS. Hey, remember this person? I sure don't. Like, I remember her existing, but I don't really remember anything about her. Anyway, we've got pictures here. I can't tell what these two are, clearly. They're at the wrong angle. Uh, this is Ludicolo. That's Pikachu, I assume that's Mirror B, I assume that's Egan. Can't tell what this is. Kinda looks like a mischievous or something. Or someone with a really big hairstyle. That's Groudon. Why is there a picture of Groudon? I don't know. In here, do we have anything nice? Nope. I think we're gonna have to, uh reinvestigate these rooms when something terrible happens. Oh yeah, these people. I don't think I pointed that out, but uh, these people were performing at the uh, Krabby Club. That's where they got the beginning, now they're on TV. Happy them. Oh, that's neat continuity. I don't know if they'll pop up anymore. Hi there. Alrighty. Thank you for that, I guess. Alright, up here we have a uh, lost little girl who's like, I lost my mom inside this building where it is completely safe and nothing bad will happen. Oh, and here's a newscast that we could totally screw up if we felt like it. That's my issue with a lot of newscasters, they really don't put any emotion into their work. Uh, we're totally gonna get in there later, I know. Oh, and there is our hound hour ready. Um, I'll address that once I finish up in this building. I hope I don't have to too, do too much back and forth thing, because uh, otherwise I'll have to do a lot of cutting and it'll be annoying. So yeah, there are a couple item boxes in here we can't get right now. We'll get them later. Here's the one. And if you talk to her, she will give you a Soothe Bell. Now, I'm not sure if the Soothe Bell... Why are you filming me? Um, I'm not sure if the Soothe Bell, like, speeds up purification, but it makes things happier quickly. So just in case it does... Oh, Teddy Ears has an item. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Carvana. Teddy Ears, so what you get? What you get? Burn heal, nice. Hopefully won't need too many of those. I don't need to heal. Took a little, little bit of damage, but... Fine, it's it was right there, come on. Yeah, some people are weird like that. And we are up on the rooftop. This is closed off, unfortunately. There's an item box, I need to get that. Remind me, future self.
and in we go.